Vault 13 is an iconic vault as it housed one of the four most influential people to the wastes, the Vault Dweller. Vault 13 even predates Fallout as a franchise as the original title for the game was Vault 13, a GURPS post-nuclear adventure. Vault 13 was technically a control vault, only designated to open when the Enclave needed the Dwellers. Whether this prolonged isolation is an experiment itself is up for debate. Sometime before the first game begins, the vault's only water chip starts to malfunction, and Overseer Jackerin sends the protagonist into the waste. There, the Vault Dweller comes across a ghoul city called Necropolis and inside its vault finds a spare water chip. Jackerin hears of the Dweller's horrifying depictions of the Waste and tasks him with stopping the source of the FEV mutants. The Dweller succeeds, defeating the Master and the Unity. Upon return to the vault, Jackerin exiles the Vault Dweller, claiming that others would want to leave too. Eventually, Jackerin commits a crime and is executed, and Vault 13, despite electing a new leader, would refrain from using the Overseer title. Instead, they built a computer that would handle all the vault's controls. The new leader allowed people to leave if they wanted. The Vault Dweller took these people and they formed the tribal village of Arroyo. 